Okay, are you going to get an A in algebra? Well, is there a way to know this in advance? I think there is. Actually, I'm going to show you some things here that A students do. And if you do these things, there's probably like a 99% chance that, in fact, you will end your uh, algebra course with an A and maybe even an A+. plus. So I'm going to get into all this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the conclusion that all math students can get an A in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to do the work, you know, take the notes, do all your homework, pay attention to the teacher. But the second thing you need is great math instruction. I'm talking about easy to understand, clear and understandable math instruction, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, definitely check out my Math Help program. I'm going to leave links to all my stuff in the description of this video. Also, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test like uh, the GED, SAT, ACT, teacher certification exam, anything that has a math section on it, I can help you out. If you homeschool, I can help you out. And if you need some math notes, um, I'm going to leave links to all my stuff in the description of this video. So let's talk about uh, algebra and how one goes about getting an A uh, in this course. Now, but before we get started, uh, if you think that you know um, you're a weak math student and you have you're just concerned about passing, I'm telling you right now, don't discount your ability to get an A. Okay, so I'm speaking to everyone out there, the strong math students, the weak math students. There really is no such thing as a weak math student. Okay, so if you think you're uh, think of yourself as somebody who is weak in mathematics, that's the first thing you need to do is change your mindset. Okay, so you got to. Uh, uh, start believing in yourself, right? So that's step number one for anything you do. But let's go ahead and take a look at um, A students. Okay, so I've been teaching math again for decades. So I've taught thousands and thousands of students. And I'm telling you right now, A students do the following thing, okay? Pretty much without exception. So I'm going to cover these real quick. And then it's up to you, really, if you're going to uh, follow the uh, basically these um Habits. Okay, you take a hard look at how you um, are as a student in terms of uh, learning mathematics and make some changes. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, you need to do be doing well. You need to be doing all these things if you kind of want to guarantee an A and maybe even an A plus in algebra. So the first thing is. Uh, you have to be organized and ready for school. Okay, I'm kind of stating the obvious. Uh, don't show up to the classroom without a pencil and your notebook. All right. So, you know, are you ready? Uh, are you organized? And you know, this is a skill that even adults and stuff, or anyone, um, you know, can struggle with being organized. And we have a lot going on in our lives and in your young life as well. If you know you are maybe at the middle school, high school level, uh, you know, you have a lot going on. But here's the deal. You have to work at being organized. You can't uh, be going into the go into a classroom or go into a learning setting and not be ready, because then you're not gonna, you're going to be you know not uh, able to write things down, and you're going to be totally distracted you know and disheveled. So the first thing you have to do is make sure all your stuff is ready to go before you even get into the classroom. Okay, so the second thing here is you should have a goal. Anytime you go into a class or a course, you need to kind of uh, have a goal for yourself. What is your goal? Is your goal to just pass? Okay, if your goal is just to pass, uh, that's kind of a, uh, too low of a goal. You know, like pass, you know, you could pass with a C, all right? You need to tell yourself, okay, what grade do I want in this class, all right? If you want an A in algebra, you need to kind of declare that right off the bat. Be like, okay, I'm going to get an A in algebra and state that, right? Write it down, okay? Literally write that down. Maybe you're in your, uh, you're in your algebra notebook. I will get an A in algebra. I'm going to do what it takes and then just kind of visualize what it's going to uh, feel like when you uh, get that grade. Okay, now this might seem kind of uh, hokey or like, yeah, one, well, I just want to pass, and you know, maybe I'll end up with an A or B. No, uh, A students really go into um, a math course or any course with the objective of doing great in that course. So you have to have a clear goal that you do want to A, because it's not going to be so easy to get an A. And, you know, most people are going to pass. And even then, some people actually don't pass. If your goal is like, oh, I'm just going to pass the course, guess what? You're at risk at failing because that goal is too low. So set a goal, a clear goal, write it down and see it. 
All right, so the next thing you need to uh, be, or A students, uh, uh, you know, how they are in uh, any math class, is they're extremely focused. So you need to be focused, and I'm talking about laser beam focused, where you're not missing uh, any information. So the one skill that you need to have is listening. And focus um, is a huge deal. This is probably one of the biggest things that if you can learn how to focus, this is probably the number one factor for success in anything you do in life is your ability to focus. And it's difficult sometimes in the classroom because there's distractions, there's uh, other students who all, all they want to do is just pass, or maybe they don't even care. So you're going to have to you know, be ready, be organized, and be ready to go. Okay, this is going to be difficult uh, to do, but it's really up to you if you're going to stay focused or not. It also means that you're paying attention and you're not doing other work in other classes or you're not thinking about anything, you're not looking at your cell phone and whatnot. This is difficult because there is a huge amount of distractions pulling you away. But if you can stay focused, that's like more than 50% of the battle to get an A in algebra. You gotta stay focused on that teacher. All right, the next thing is you have to learn how to take outstanding, great math notes. And the only way you're gonna take great math notes is if you are focused, okay? Paying attention writing things down uh, with the teachers writing down and listening and adding in uh, different things you know in your notes that you need okay this right here is huge because you know you need something to study from after class is over what are you going to look at you know how to you know you're, you're not going to just look at your textbook that's not enough you need to write down everything the teacher wrote down all the example prompts everything else so if you stay focused and you take great math notes you are just already well on your way to um, performing well on quizzes and tests, etc. All right, let's move on to the next thing is do all the homework, okay? Do all the homework problems, not some of the homework problems. Uh, definitely don't skip homework, even if your teacher is kind of a little bit, say, easy, somewhat easy about homework. In other words, you can kind of get away. Don't try to cheat the system, even if you kind of go to class a little bit early and you just kind of whip up uh, some stuff so you can just, you know, have something on a piece of paper to say, here's my homework for today. That's not going to be enough. You have to be willing to do the work, as I just said in the beginning of this video. So do all the homework, okay? Now, once you do all the homework, the easy problems, the so-so problems, the word problems, the hard problems, after that, the next day or at any time, you know, when you're taking notes or you're uh, focused, paying attention to the teacher, get in the habit of asking questions, okay? If you don't understand something, raise your hand. Pull that teacher over to you and ask questions. Hey, I didn't understand this uh, homework problem. You know, uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean by this. Ask uh, questions. The teacher is there to answer questions. But if you're not asking questions, okay, uh, then you're not going to be able to clarify things. Now, don't ask questions if the teacher, what, now let me just say this much. Teachers don't like uh, when students ask questions because they were distracted and not paying attention. Then are saying, oh, what did you say, teacher? Can you repeat yourself? Because I was too busy checking my Instagram or my text messages. Uh, so now I'm done with that. Can you go ahead and repeat uh, yourself, Mr. or Mrs. Teacher? Listen, you know, that they're not going to do that, okay? So, but if you don't understand how to do a particular problem, ask good questions, okay? Very focused, great questions, so ask questions. All right, so the next thing is study for test, okay? So you're gonna know when a test comes up, there's not gonna be anything such as pop test. There's certainly pop quizzes, but when a test comes up, ask questions, know what's gonna be on a test, go through all your notes, go through all your homework, listen to you know what the teacher said that you need to know, and really, really study for test. Even if you think you know the stuff, uh, well, like, I don't need to study. I'm going to ace it. Listen, those are almost always the times that you need to study because you're not, you're overconfident. So every single test that you take, always study and, you know, um, study the stuff that's previous in that chapter. You know, all the homework you've done, the questions you got answered, the notes, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so this last thing is this, all right? All, if you do all of these things right here, chances are you're going to do outstanding. You're going to do 90% plus on your test. Um but let's suppose, you know, maybe you get 75 uh, on a test or something like that, and you did all this stuff right. Well, then you need to get extra help, okay? So if you start to struggle a bit and you're doing all the right things, and that can happen, you know, maybe you're in a difficult chapter, what 
whatnot. So immediately get extra help. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, you need to go start with the teacher first. Okay, hey, uh, can, you know, I get extra help after school, before school, during lunch. Really just bug that teacher because they know you best, all right? They're teaching you. They can look at all your homework, and they can really kind of, um, you know, give you really great guidance. So always, always start with your uh, teacher. After that, um, you can um, look for, let's say, uh, other students to help you out. So maybe you want to study in a group uh, with top students, students that are doing well. That's one way to kind of get, you know, additional help if you're only working by yourself. You can also try to find a tutor, okay? Uh, now, tutoring is uh, expensive. The best math tutors out there are going to be other um, math teachers, okay? So, uh, you know, you can ask your teacher, hey, uh, do you have any recommendations for uh, a tutor, a great tutor? And uh, generally, you know, it could be like a high school math teacher or whatnot or a middle school math teacher. But there's other teachers out there you or tutors out there. You want a highly qualified teacher. And again, you know, I'm, I'm speaking for decades of experiences uh, or experience. And I'm telling you right now that if you need to or if you really want to hire a tutor, try to hire a math teacher as your tutor. OK, after, you know, beyond that, you can go to things like Sylvan uh, Learning Center, et cetera, things like that, Kumon or Mathnasium and things like that. But I don't I think that would be kind of more like the last option. Uh, one, I think, great option would be something like my math program. There's online math programs out there like my math programs are super high quality. So if you like my teaching style, if you follow me on YouTube, you're going to learn a tremendous amount uh, from me just as much as if you would learn in school. So let's suppose you don't like your teacher's teaching style for whatever the case is. Maybe you're not, you know, understanding from them. Uh, you're going to need more than tutoring. And what you're going to need is like full instruction from another teacher. So that's where a program like mine can really help you out. But whatever the case is, you might use a combination of a program like mine, a uh, tutor, whatever the case is, you need to go on the uh, initiative, take the initiative and go on the offense to get the help and instruction you need to learn this stuff, okay? Never accept that, you know, well, you know, uh, whatever, it is what it is. All I can do is just whatever the teacher's telling me. Sometimes you have to go beyond the classroom for whatever reason. But if you do all this stuff, okay, you're constantly in this uh, success loop. I'm telling you right now, you're, you, it, would be, it would be very difficult for you not to get an A, okay? Because your teacher is going to see that, um, effort you're uh, putting in and you know they like that you know they they love to see students working you know hard and learning so if you want an a okay if you're just starting off in algebra if you do do those things i'm telling you right now 99 percent chance that you're going to end up with this or maybe even an a plus which is awesome and maybe you'll get like one of those crazy grades like 105 percent you know when you get a uh, 100 percent on your test and you answer the bonus question right and you end up with some uh, percentage like that that's even uh, you know more awesome but hopefully this video uh, will help you out it definitely will if you follow through on this, believe me, I'm, not, I'm only telling you things I know from years and years and years of experience. OK, so trust me when I uh, when I say that, you know, these things, these things that I just covered, you know, are extremely important. So hopefully this video uh, helped you out. And if that is the case, consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I have a thousand plus math videos on my channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. So, uh, you know, my videos range from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So I can definitely help you out with my content. I, you know, I make those videos for you. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.